and then says, I'm hungry, and asks the fans, where should I go to eat? Okay, this better have a payoff to it. I did. <laughs> should I go sit at a booth? This crowd was just like, what is the line? Should I go sit at a bar, or should I sit at the head of the table? And dude, Michael Cole had an aneurysm at the, oh my! And mm. so concluded a 22 minute segment with uh, from Jinder's entrance to Rock's uh, go home line and the four words that everyone will focus on. And I think um, obviously set sets the table. Pardon the pun. Sets the table. But which table? I, I where, don't think this is happening is at table? Elimination Chamber. That would be my thought. Well, that 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 is at least part of the speculation, you know, for, for some people is is to um, wonder what this means for the Cody Rhodes match and whether or not it's possible that you might get the Rock and Roman Reigns in Perth instead. But you're suggesting there's – what are the chances of that? None to you? I, I don't see them putting that match on in, in, in Perth. I mean that that was part if you if you remember um that was like recently noted the fact that the government of Perth they had actually put in that request of the can rock. the rock appear at oh, elimination goodness. chamber like that was one of their things that they did uh actually request um so a simply at the very least, at- you're, you're getting this match and the question would be yeah. where are you going to maximize this match and um so it's not just so so maximizing it obviously would be a stage like WrestleMania. And yes, keep in mind you do have two nights. They also have a lot of plans already set up for for those two nights. Um you have a an embarrassment of riches right now with people that you could, you know, justifiably put into so, several of these spots. And mm, Cody versus Roman by account of I guess, you know, um looking at online reaction, um a lot of Online audiences want to see Cody and The Rock. They want to see the story finish, and they don't want to see the Co- Rock. Cody and Cody and Roman. Sorry, mean. Cody and Roman. Cody. They probably want to see Cody and The Rock too, but after. But they want to see the story finish. You know, that's really been every everything that's been uh, you're you've been gearing towards that. Um, at the same time, how often is The Rock going to be free and in good enough shape that he can come out here and challenge Roman Reigns for his championship? I, I'd argue this champion? is the last year, I would think. Like, exactly. You can't predict any year, um, but if the lane is free, this is the year to do it. But in other ways, it's at a time when, like, certainly there are years that, I mean, this company would be on their hands and knees begging for a Rock match. This is going to be a super, super successful WrestleMania with or without The Rock. Mm -hmm. Um, I would argue of all the matches, yeah, for that night, Roman and Rock is probably the biggest match that they have of all of their matches at their disposal. But um, this is also the 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 case of like look at look at like ninety eight when you had Austin and, and Michaels and. If they had had access to a Hulk Hogan for one night, yeah, that that would have been big to have Hogan and Michaels or Hogan and Austin, whatever have you. But I mean, that was so key that it was like that was a year about we have our hot star who is going to go over and then we're moving forward because he's there the next night and he's going to be there the next month and he's going to be the one that is that is running running this whole thing. I mean, they have um WrestleMania is going to be a big, big success, but the idea of having the rock is like, that's obviously the one that they would look at is like, who is going to move tickets, but it's, but if there's there's no wrong choice here, but like, this is not the year that you just have to have to have the rock, but it's, it's now or never, I would argue. There's no wrong choice. Um, but if, but you can choose to be greedy here. You can have everything, okay? And again, they have several shows. They have two nights of WrestleMania. How do you play these pieces so that you can get the value out of everything? You can have CM Punk and Rollins. You can have The Rock versus Roman. You can have Cody versus Roman. Uh, you know, uh, and that's why I, I don't know if I completely rule out the idea of this happening in Perth or if they choose to do this, maybe having this being a night night one thing and still doing Cody versus Roman. I mean, it sends, I think, a pretty bad message if you're going to delay Roman and Cody one more time, right? Like to, for, for this new regime that's supposed to perhaps, you know, have a b- bit more of an eye on the future, you, you would think. But again, I 
I don't think there's a bad decision in, in any of this. Like if by the end of this, you told me that I would have to wait another year for Cody versus Roman. I wouldn't be that upset. Cause I think they do a fine job of, of maybe delaying it, but a lot of people probably would be. Yeah. So that's, um, yeah, that, that was the, the keys thing coming out of, uh, raw and yeah, the, the different directions that they go. I think it's, I think it's great for the audience because you have mm-hmm. all these different scenarios that you can go to and yeah, you're, you're right. Shows to play with. I mean, you know, fe- they're getting paid money for that February show. So maybe we shouldn't be as dismissive about that. It just seems as though you have a rock, you are going to use it for like that. That is a show that the money's guaranteed. The show is, you can't move anymore. Like all you have to benefit at that point is, uh, appeasing a, a a government party that has already paid for the show and peacock peacock subscriptions which i'm sure peacock uh peacock would want him at wrestlemania as well as opposed to the well, yeah can't you say the same thing about wrestlemania you know well that's it i mean really what you're coming down to is just like it's you you're banking that mania is going to be your most watched shows of the year you put a rock on a February show, that's going to be an enormous show too. But I think for all parties involved, just you have a rock, he's doing mania night too. Let's, let's see how the, how this uh, goes. It, it's certainly interesting. Um, and I, I mean, I think my, my, thoughts of expecting it were maybe under 50 percent at this point you know that the rock would be active and available for wrestlemania so this is very exciting you know the the roster that they have at their disposal heading into this year's wrestlemania it's going to be insane um i thought for the segment itself i i I, the the rock was fantastic you know it's amazing how he can appear so infrequently yet still feel very very close to where he was at the top of his game uh, even at when he was an active wrestler on the microphone every single week It, it didn't really feel a lot of all that different his command of the crowd his confidence and his perfect delivery on live television is still very much unmatched um by anybody on this roster so certainly made a good case for taking that main spot um at the very top if you weren't convinced so mark kerr uh, <laughs> mark kerr is well he maybe he old. could join the ufc after this well, you know what? Uh, maybe maybe he can resurrect pride. I mean, maybe that that can be the brand extension that UFC has been coveting. Sure. Yeah. Any uh, uh, any UFL crossover? You think? Um, all, all, all possibilities at this yeah. point. I mean, that's going to be the other argument now that like the like this is you know where we're moving towards this. It's like here's the guy. He's like he's 51. He's got to do a major match, and that's going to come with the obvious risks of like this guy who. You know, suffered a big injury, and in that, and we're talking over a decade ago uh, when he did his last real match, um, the the second one with, with Cena, and you know, As injured you himself significantly, and had to push back like filming of a movie. It's like you do a match with Roman, you're not, um, you know, I'm. You can't just go out there and just do do simple stuff like it's. I know, you know. but at the same time. It might be now or never at all, right? Again, you're 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 talking about his cousin who's on this like monumental title reign that we might be seeing end this year. You're talking about Dwayne Johnson who's still in good enough physical shape that he might be able to squeeze one of these in. This might be the very last chance. And as a result, even if it's not night two, they might choose to do it at some point. And um, you know, the the last point on this is the the number of like dates that you have with the rock just the fact that he is in for mania season um mm-hmm. again this everything like cm punk rock involvement all of this pertains to the raw rights yep like i would have like i'm sure he's not going to be a weekly fixture but just the fact that you know this is going to generate this much more buzz for wwe at a time that they're already operating on such a high level and you're just throwing in punk and rock and Cody's hot, and you've got Seth, and you've got all this intrigue in WWE, and a lot of it is focused on Raw, and should be on Raw. Um, you know, they're 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 just throwing everything uh, in in terms of just lighting up the interest level for for these Raw rights, and you know, having having a Rock and a Punk in your pipeline, um, it's it's a huge timing. You know, this is a big big. Uh, achievement for the company to have all of this uh, at once.